Hey everyone, it's Starlight Players, and I have another um, Lush cocktail. I'm calling this one Honey for My Honey, because um, this actually was requested from um, someone that I like to call Honey, so I'll just leave it at that. Um, everything in here is honey or toffee scented. Um, I'll just go ahead and kind of go down the line, because I do have several things here that I can't get into one frame. So, um, first off with the bath bomb, I have the honeybee bath bomb. I tried cutting this in half, but as you can see, it broke off into pieces, but this is actually what half of it. Um, I am going to be using a bath melt. This is a floating island, and this is about, um, I would say a third, well actually no, a fourth of it. So, um, I got that one because it's pretty large and you can get quite a few uses out of it. For bubble bars, um, this is the Ma Bar bubble bar. This is a third of it, and, um... Here is the uh, little sugar cube that comes in it. I actually am going to use the sugar cube as like a body scrub. Um, if I run out of this, um, either I'm going to try to use it as a scrub. If not, I'm just going to let it just uh, dissolve in the water. Um, either way, it'll add some sweetness to the smells. And um, so if I do run out of using this as a body scrub, I do have a little bit left over of the um, sugar plum fairy body scrub from the Christmas stuff. And um, that one actually doesn't really smell too much, so I don't think it'll like drown out any of these smells. Um, for soaps, of course, I will be using the Honey I Wash the Kids soap. And um, as an alternative, if you want to, um, you can use It's Raining Men. I don't own it, but I do have Honey Hugs, which I personally like better than It's Raining Men. And for after, I am going to be using the Hottie Massage Bar. I know that you can also use, I think it's pronounced Softcore massage bar. It's the little heart shaped one that has the chocolate center in it. So, um, I smell that. It smells really good. I know there's another one called, I think, Monge. Monge something. It's the one that looks, literally looks like a uh, honeycomb shape. But um, I thought that one smelled really good too. So, I'm going to go ahead and put in the um, bath bomb. I'm going to crumble the bath melt to help it dissolve a lot faster. And I'm going to try to do the bubble bar a little bit different. I'm going to try to hold the camera with my hand and put it, I put it on this tray to see if I can crumble it even more underneath the water so you can actually watch the bubbles form. So um, it might be a little bit shaky, just warning you, but I'm going to try to do this differently so you can actually see it go into the water. So I'm just going to dump this in since it is in pieces. Or actually, just grab a few. And this does smell so good. <clears throat> really does smell like honey I wash the kids to me. No. Pour in the leftover powder that I had from cutting it. So there's the bath bombs just turning everything a uh, light yellow color. It's not the best color. <laughs> um, it's just yellow, but uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna crumble in the uh, bath melt as well. And this bath melt, I know it has sandalwood in it, and um, I think it goes really well with all these smells. It's just very natural, just a very natural soft smell. It smells really, really good. So I definitely want that skin softening effect, so that's why I'm using this today. This thing is huge, in my opinion. I think this is a really good value as far as the bath melts. It smells really, really good already, just with these two things in here. Okay. Oh, yeah, that bath smells, smells the bath melt smells really, really good. Alright, I don't know why there's brown at the bottom. I guess it's from the, uh, the bath bomb. But anyway, the uh, bath melt that I crumbled up is going to eventually melt and make the water really silky and smooth and soft, so. Alright, I'm going to turn on the water and I'm going to attempt to um, hold the camera and do the um, 
bubble bar that way. So I'm just trying to move everything over to get it closer. Okay. Wish me luck. Okay, so I put um, the third of my bubble bar in it. Now, I know that a third of the bubble bar is probably not going to make the most bubbles, so um, I'm just going to let it sit there for a minute and watch the bubbles form. So, um, as far as the color, I don't think this is one of the best colors. Again, it's, it's kind of like a light yellow color. I do see some pieces of the bubble bar that I'm trying to grab to break up. And some of the bath bomb over here is still kind of just mixing around. So yeah, I wasn't too concerned about making too many bubbles this time because um, the honey I washed the kids soap is a very, very strong um, honey scent. So I wasn't too concerned about the bubbles. Um, having too many of them, but I'm going to let it just kind of let the water run a little bit, but um, even with a third, that's actually quite a few bubbles. So, the smell is absolutely amazing. It smells so good in here. So, as you can see, like, if you start moving, um, some of the bubbles away from the water. I guess maybe I can show you guys this now. Okay, I've moved some of the bubbles away from the, um, the faucet. I'm gonna let you guys watch this for a minute of how good Lush Bubble Bars really are. If you wait just a couple minutes, it will start to form another mound of bubbles. As you can see, it's already starting to form the mound, like right there, and um, still quite a lot of bubbles. So yeah, um, I guess that's really much it. Bubbles again are still starting, still continuing to form, and my bathtub still has a little bit, a little bit more ways to fill up. Um, I'll probably let it go for about maybe like another two, three minutes or so until um, I'll turn off the water. So but yeah, that's really it. Um, it smells really, really good, really, really good in here. So I highly recommend this if you haven't um, used this yet. See, there's the mound again. So yeah, 
hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you know, again, I'm sorry if it was shaky, but I really wanted to see, I really wanted you guys to see the bubble bar, like, actually go into the water, because I know, um, I've been having to put down the camera a lot lately, but, um, one day I will purchase a tripod. Um, I've already found one that I want, I just kind of have to, um, save up for it, because, um, it is a pretty tall one, but I also do some photography, too, so I don't mind buying it. I just, um, eventually we'll get it, so. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Bye.